Of all the tools that a line crew uses, rope has to be the most universal and versatile. Rope is used to lift a variety of loads, to secure tools and equipment to poles, as a safety line in the event of an emergency, and as a safe and efficient means of supplying a line worker with the materials and tools necessary to do a job. There are literally thousands of different types of rope. Rope comes stranded, braided, plated, and in other designs too numerous to mention. Now, each of these types of rope can be used for rigging jobs. Another type of rope or tape that has become widely used in the industry is mule tape, and we'll talk more about that later. The most common type of rope that you'll be working with, however, is stranded rope. Now, stranded rope is made up of individual fibers that are twisted or woven together to form strands. In this example, there are three strands. Strands come in many diameters, but are always composed of fibers that are also twisted or woven together. The reason for twisting and weaving of strands is to relieve concentrated loads on individual strands at knots and bends. For example, if you can imagine a bend and a rope over a block sheave, the bottom of the bend is against the sheave. The opposite side of the rope is away from the sheave. The inside of the rope is at a lesser strain than the outside of the rope. Twisting and weaving of the strands allows the rope to stretch on the outside of the rope while relieving the stresses that can damage the fibers. Once the rope passes through the block, the strain on the rope realigns the fibers that have moved as the rope passes over the sheave. Many of the newer ropes being used have 8 to 12 strands and double braid. Now, the sizes of the rope commonly used in overhead line work range from a quarter inch to one inch in diameter, but larger diameter ropes greater than one inch are not uncommon in transmission work when used as load lines and digger derricks. The material the rope is made of, the weight of the load, and the company procedure will dictate what size rope is necessary to do a job. 